Uh, hi everyone. Thank you for joining this session today. I'm Ayomi Watanabe, OSS Management Consultant. I'm based in Tokyo, Japan. Today, my co-speaker and I will talk about our open source project, Open Source License Simple Viewer. We call this OLSV in short. For executive summary, I will start with this one simple question. Do you have difficulties in your license compliance work in your team or in your company? License compliance work means, for example, identify open source components in your source code, find the license, read the license, understand the license, and do the mandatory work depending on the license you, you choose and use case you choose. So uh, this license compliance work is sometimes very difficult, even if you were the IP expert or lawyer. To solve these difficulties, we released this open source license simple viewer. This is a support tool for engineers. And above all, this tool is open source so everyone can download and use it. Today in this session, we will talk about the background issues that we tried to solve, how to use the tool, and how to contribute to this project. We will be very happy if this tool can be of any help to you. This is today's agenda. It starts with our uh, self-introduction, the background things about open source license simple viewer, then the background technology, user case in Toyota, and our future plans. At first, let me introduce my co-speakers. We have Endo-san, Tanaka-san, Shirai-san here, we will speak by turns today. And uh, you can download Open Source License Simple Viewer from our GitHub repo right now. The URL is here. In this session later, I will do a demo of this tool. If you were, oh sorry, if you will have downloaded it, the demo will be uh, like a uh, hands-on session. Please prepare for that. So I pass the button to Endo-san, please. Thank you, Watanabe-san. Uh, this is Endo from Toyota. Uh, the OSS license is the intention of the engineer who developed the OSS. So when we use OSS, we have to grasp of the contents of the OSS license well and comply with the license terms. On the other hand, the number of OSS licenses is huge. And some licenses have complicated conditions. Also, each use case calls for different things that users have to do. It's not easy for non-legal engineer to understand their complex situation. That's why engineer needs tools that make it easy for engineers to understand OSS licenses. Next, please. In this slide, I'd like to talk about issues at Toyota. Toyota has already established a mechanism for embedded OSS into vehicles. And we are ready for open chain certification. However, there are people in the company who use OSS for several use cases, such as research and development and in-house systems. So I heard that there was a limit to establishing a mechanism for individual companies to handle all 
of use cases. So we decided to cooperate with Hitachi Group for making uh, OSS license management tools. Next, please. Thank you, Yata san. After that, we decided to develop our open source compliance support tool together. At first, we decided to use Hitachi's logical decomposition of open source license as a base technology. Shurai san will explain about this later. And we Hitachi Solutions team was in charge of architecture and development. Toyota team was in charge of design and they were our sponsor. So next, I will speak about what is Open Source License Simple Viewer. Open Source License Simple Viewer is a simple Excel-based tool as open source license reference for engineers. It has a list of open source licenses, use cases, conditions, and notices. With this tool, you can know what you should do or need to do depends on the license and the use case you, you choose. Seeing is better than hearing. I will show you a demo later. Before I go into demo, I will explain the structure of this. Actually, this open source license sample viewer is just a viewer. It's just so showing you the background technology, background data. This amazing background data is Hitachi's logical decomposition of open source license. This logical decomposition of open source license is name of an architecture of data. So you can create your own logical decomposition data or you can use Hitachi sample data. So let's move on to the demo. In this demo, I will show you how to set up this open source license simple viewer and how to use it. Before using this, you need to prepare. As I mentioned before, you need to prepare two things. The first one is open source license simple viewer itself. This open source license simple viewer is now available in our GitHub repository. This is our GitHub repository. The URL is, is this. And in this repository, this open source license simple viewer dot XLSM, this file is the tool itself. Please download this to your local. I downloaded the file to here. And another thing you need to prepare before is the logical decomposition data. It will be imported to the open source license simple viewer. As this logical decomposition data, you can use Hitachi sample data and of course, you can create your own data. In this demo, I will use Hitachi sample data. Hitachi sample data is now available on Hitachi's GitHub repo. The URL is, is this. And this Hitachi uh, data uh, in this open source repository, uh, they call it open source license open data. The name is different, but this is the same data that we call logical decomposition data. And the logical decomposition data itself is in the data directory. You can see these four JSON files. These files are the logical decomposition data Hitachi sample. 
please download the, all of those station files to your local. I downloaded them to this folder. Here. So this is all that you need to before uh, using this open source license simple viewer. So let's see how it works. Once you open the open source license simple viewer, at first you see the license. This open source license simple viewer is released under MIT license. And in this file, you can see some seeds. We have manual, manual seed written in English and viewer seed, manual seed written in Japanese, Japanese viewer and setting. Before using this file, you need to import data, open source, uh, sorry, uh, you need to import logical decomposition data into open source license simple viewer. The import work uh, will start with this uh, button. You see two buttons in the setting file, but these two buttons behavior are the same, so you can use uh, whichever you want. Push this button and select the folder that you downloaded the logical decomposition data. I downloaded those data into this data folder, so I select this and OK. Then the import task will start. The import task uh, takes a few minutes, so now I cancel this and I will use another file in this demo. In this file, I have already done the import task, so it is ready to use. After imported uh, the logical, de logical decomposition data, some seeds appeared. I will explain these uh, seeds. For example, the licensed seed. In this seed, we have a list of open source licenses. For example, uh, Ruby license, GPL1, GPL2, uh, everything. In this licenses seat, now uh, we have uh, uh, seven hundred about seven hundred licenses. And then in this actions sheet, this is a list of use cases. For example, uh, we use the object code or redistribute the binary. It is uh, the use case uh, of open source uh, components. As you see, uh, this uh, Hitachi sample data is now only available in Japan in Japanese. For this demo, I translated some something uh, into English, but uh, other things is now still uh, in only in Japanese. And in condition sheet. Uh, we have a list of tasks to do. For example, uh, retain copyright notice, conditions, and disclaimer, or uh, something uh, that is a to do. That's it. That is a list of to do tasks. And in notices seat, uh, they are uh, con they are some checklists uh, about disclaimers. Uh, open source license simple viewer use those data in these four sheets. And this, this open source license simple viewer show you uh, those data by filtering uh, depends on uh, the license or uh, use cases uh, about your choice. So I will show you 
uh, how it works. Uh, let's go to the viewer seat. So in viewer seat, uh, at first, uh, I choose the license. Uh, push the, the select button, uh, you can see the list of licenses. This license list uh, came from here, a licenses sheet. sheet. You can choose uh, one from the uh, pull down list, or you can type in the, ni the name of the license. For example, in this demo, I will type the MIT license and OK. And then uh, I will choose the use case. Uh, select the button, and you can see the uh, list of use cases. This use cases also came from uh, action sheet. Action sheet. But uh, in this uh, in this uh, selection, uh, this open source license simple viewer doesn't show you uh, the whole list of uh, from uh, actions. Uh, it filtered uh, it filtered uh, some um, actions uh, depending on the license you choose here. So it means uh, this list this list means uh, the list of uh, use cases that allowed under the license you choose. So I will choose one uh, use case, for example, this distribute the binary and push. Now I choose license and a use case, so show. Then uh, these conditions appeared and disclaimer, disclaimers appeared. This means uh, if you use MIT license and uh, the use case is redistribute the binary, so you need to this condition, uh, retain copyright notice and the copy conditions and disclaimer. And uh, under that use case, uh, the disclaimers are this and this. It is very simple uh, reference, license reference for you. I will show you another uh, example. Uh, so for now, I will I will choose so BSD license and BSD three cross license and OK. And then uh, I select the use case. So I choose this the same before distribute the binary and OK and show. So this condition changed. It means uh, these conditions are uh, regarding your choice of license and use cases. So in this uh, example, BSD fully close and the use case is distributed binary. So you need to do two uh, condition, reproduce copyright notice and blah, blah, blah. And the disclaimers are here. And I will show you another example. For example, GPL GNU general. GPL we have GPL one, GPL two, and everything. So I'll choose GPL two and OK. And I will choose the use case. For example, or uh, we distribute binary and OK. And show. So now you see this comment area. This comment area, uh, you can mm, preset some comments to uh, every license. For example, uh, I preset these comments in here, license seat and GPL general public uh, license version two, and the comment is contact your IP experts. 
So if you preset this comment here, uh, then uh, you select this license. So this comment will be appeared. So it can use for warning or to uh, for uh, notice to someone about the license. And uh, GPL version 2 is very complicated license, so uh, conditions is also very complicated, but uh, in this open source license si simple viewer, uh, this, uh, this is very simple uh, to know uh, what you need to do under this, this uh, license and the conditions. So now we have uh, one, two, three, four parts uh, of conditions. They were uh, combined with and. Uh, so this means you need to this and this and this and this. And also uh, now we see uh, three parts of conditions that are combined with or. It means you need to this or this or this. So uh, you can choose uh, which which one, uh, whichever uh, you can do uh, under the license. And uh, in this case, disclaimer is uh, this and this and this. So the checklist is very long. It means the GPL version two is uh, very complicated. But uh, with this open source license simple viewer, uh, if you choose a license and use case, so you can see very simple uh, conditions that you need to do and uh, the disclaimers uh, you need to uh, be careful. So this is uh, how this tool work. Uh, to sum up, open source license simple viewer is uh, the reference of open source license uh, for your comp for your compliance work. With this open source license simple viewer, uh, you can know what you should do or need to do depends on the license you choose and the use case that you choose. Uh, that's about it. So uh, let's go back to presentation. From here, I pass the button to shirai -san. Uh, he will explain the idea of the logical decomposition. shirai -san, uh, please go ahead. Hello, this is Shirai from Hitachi. I'm an architect of in-house system of open source license management. I'd like to introduce a technology we call logical decomposition of OSS license. Uh, to make it easy to understand open source license, we decompose license. So it means uh, the basic idea is license is a set of clauses and each clause consists of actions and obligations. Action means you can do something. So this is it. The license allow you to do that. Uh, obligation means then you must do something. So license require you to do that. You must to do that. So we uh, decompose every license into this simple form. So this helps us to make uh, understand licenses. Oh, let's see. So here is our situation. Uh, these days, our software uses a huge amount of open source software, so hundreds or thousands or more. So even if our software uses just one open source software, but typically open source software depends on other open source software, and it also depends on other open source software open source software. So this transitive dependencies results a huge group 
of open source software. And each open source software has its own license. For example, ZPL, MIT, and BSD, and so on. So each license, is, license has different license text. Uh, even for similar actions and obligations. Now this is one of the example. Now this is obligations for license redistribution. So these are three licenses. So they have a different text, but they are, their obligation is almost same. So you have to distribute license. So this variation make it hard to share common understanding among developers, legal staff, procurement, quality assurance, and other staff. So the root cause is that we don't have common vocabulary among licenses. So our solution is to make common vocabulary to represent these actions and obligations. So it will make it easy to understand the license. So let's dive into the detail. So this is detailed data model to manage license. So here is the license. As I said, license consists of uh, clauses and also clauses, uh, each clause consists of actions and obligations. So blue box means vocabulary. So we define some vocabulary for action. For example, use, distribute, modify, and so on. And we also define obligation for uh, vocabulary for obligation. And we categorize obligation into three groups. So the first one is you must do something before you do the action. So typical case is you need to get written permission to do something before you do something. The second one is you must do something after you do the action. So this is maybe usual case. And the third one is you must not do that. And typically, a license require to comply with all of obligation. So we use and to represent that. And some license provide us choice to take one obligation from obligation group. So to represent the group, we use or. So let's see the concrete example of the sample data for GPL 2.0. GPL 2.0 uh, consists of a set of clauses. So I take one of them. So we call the number five clause as here. So this clause consists of uh, two action vocabularies. So unfortunately, uh, our sample uh, is written in Japanese, but I uh, explain English. The first one is distribute object code, and the second vocabulary is distribute executable form. So these are very similar. So what the action says is distribute binary. So this means GPL 2.0 allow us to distribute binary. But at the same time, GPL 2.0 require us to do some obligations. So there are six vocabularies in this case. So the first one is you must provide copyright notice. And the second one is you must provide license copy. And the third one is you must apply same license if you make combined work. For example, static link or dynamic link from your software to the ZPL 2.0 OSS. And the first one is uh, you must publish source code. But ZPL 2.0 uh, provides us three choices. The first choice is provide source code along with the binary, this binary. And the second choice is uh, provide source code based on written offer. And the third choice and make source code downloadable. So this is a kind of logic tree. So to formalize uh, open source software into this form, make it easy to understand for human, and also it make it enable to process license data 
for tools. So the one of the application is our in-house license management system. And the other uh, application is this uh, OSS license simple viewer. So let's see another example. So uh, here is our PSD3 cross and also MIT license. So these two licenses have different license text, but uh, the uh, content is very similar. Actually, in this uh, clause, it's all uh, exactly the same. Let's say action. So here are two action vocabulary. The first one is distribute binary, and the second one is distribute modified binary. So let's see a BSD sequence and the MIT have exactly the same action vocabulary. So you can easily understand these two licenses allow us same thing. And let's say obligation part. So it's saying there are same vocabulary appear here. So you must provide license notice and term of condition and notices the same. So let's say, let's see the pair 2.0. It have a little bit different, but similar obligation vocabulary appear here. So you can easily recognize these are similar, almost same. So this uh, introduces you make better understanding. So we uh, publish this sample data in our Hitachi uh, GitHub repository. And you are here. So we name it OSS license open data. So it's open data. And we apply license, so common community data license agreement, permits 1.0. This is good license for open data, and this license is established Linux Foundation. So we appreciate for the effort. As of today, this sample data includes over 700 licenses. So most likely you will see a license you are using. Now we are happy to contribute to, to development of open source software on not only software itself, but also efficient compliance works. Yeah. Let me take the button to the Tanaka-san. Thank you, Shirai-san. I'm Miyu Tanaka from Toyota IP division. I'm engaged in building an OSS usage and contribution process of Toyota. Thank you to the tools developed by Hitachi Groups, deep understanding of OSS and system development capabilities. Our engineers are now more familiar with OSS licenses. We customize this tool and upload it to our intranet. Engineers use this tool before consulting with IP division. This tool is also useful for engineers to try at OSS. I'd like to talk about future issues. In this period, IP division maintains this tool. However, many IP members do not have technical knowledge about database such as JSON. Therefore, we think that the creating maintenance manuals is important. We also want to integrate this tool in our internal workflow. By doing so, I believe that engineers will be able to use OSS in relief. That's all for my part. Watanabe-san, please continue to the presentation. Thank you, Tanaka-san. This is our last slide. I will talk about our future plans. At first, we are planning to localize this tool and Hitachi sample logical decomposition data into other languages. Our open source license simple viewer itself is now available in Japanese and English. But unfortunately, Hitachi sample data is now available only in Japanese. So we hope this open source license simple viewer would be used in all over the world. So we would like to ask people who is interested in our activity to join our project and contribute to the translation work. And after that, 
we would like to do some functional enhancement, but this is just under discussion. So uh, everyone, thank you for listening to the very end. And again, we hope our activity would be of any help to every engineers. We are really happy to answer your questions via chat, email, anything. Please feel free to contact us anyway. This, that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening to this session. Thank you. Bye.